Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel. So far, I have lost 17 pounds eating keto and low carb foods. And this recipe I'm about to show you is one of them. So stick around and please give me a like if you like the video. And I am going to show you how I made easy keto, no churn strawberry ice cream by Beauty and the Foodie. I'm going to leave a link to her website in the description just so you can go visit her website to get the um, amount of the ingredients that you need so she can get the traffic. I'm uh, new to making recipes and filming them. So please excuse the sleeves in the way, maybe the hair in the way. I'm working on it, but I had a great time making it. I'd like to continue making more recipes for you. See you at the end to let you know how I liked it and what I liked about it and what I didn't. These are strawberries, heavy whipping cream, sour cream, vanilla extract, and she called for swerve in the granulated form. I have the confectioner's form, and I think that will cut down on the grittiness of the sweetener. Now I'm going to add everything to my Ninja blender and blend it all up. This last step I decided to do, I'm going to add a tablespoon of vodka to the mixture so that it doesn't freeze solid. There is no one under 21 in my house and no one under 21 is going to be eating this ice cream. So if you have someone under 21 in your household, don't do this. All right, she said to blend it until there are just tiny little chunks of strawberry. All right, let's see how that did. All right, I think there's some tiny little strawberry chunks in there. Or maybe my Ninja did such a good job that it's mostly blended up. But either way, I bet it's gonna taste delicious. I did taste it for sweetness and it tastes pretty sweet. So I think that's good enough for me. So now she said to pour it into a loaf pan. Looks like all the little strawberry pieces are gonna be at the bottom because I blended them too much. So, you can see how often I use my Ninja Blender. Not very often. And I think that maybe it was supposed to be thicker than this because she did say to use the spatula to make it smooth and even, but there's really not much going on here as far as that goes, so it looks pretty smooth and even to me. All right, so last step, put it in the freezer for three and a half to five hours, and I'll come back to it when it's ready, and I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, it's been about four hours, so let's see what it tastes like. Oh, the consistency is not set. That's probably my fault. I probably didn't leave it long enough. Oh, yep, can see the outsides? The outside is set, so let's just give it a taste. Let's just pretend that I let it sit there long, long enough because I, I didn't because I couldn't wait. So let's just taste this little piece right here. Mmm, tastes really good. And it might not set as much because of the vodka either but I didn't really let it sit that long. Maybe, well, I guess I did let it sit for about four hours, but apparently that wasn't long enough. Mmm, tastes really good though. <laughs> All right, I'll let it freeze a little bit longer, a few more hours, and then I'll get it back out and I'll show you what it looks like. Well, it's the next day and it looks like it is frozen solid. I was really hoping that the vodka would help with this, but alas, boo, it has not. So I was hoping to have some for um, dessert after dinner, so I'm glad 
I pulled it out a few hours early. <laughs> so I'm going to let it sit and then I'll come back to it um, around dinner time or so and we'll try it again. Okay. All right. So here we go. See, now it's a nice consistency. So I'm going to put some in my owl bowl. I don't want too much because I just had a big dinner. All right, I think I'm gonna get a strawberry. There's my ice cream and my strawberries, and it's good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very good, very good. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. There's a couple things that I'd like to mention. Um, the vodka didn't seem to work, did it? So I think I've looked up a few other recipes and they call for allulose. And that way it doesn't um, harden all the way. And so it'll keep it a little bit smoother. So next time I might try that. Um, I've also realized that I don't care for the sour cream. So I might omit that or find a, a workaround. But overall, I thought it was fantastic. And it was delicious flavor. So yeah, so go to her website and, and check it out. Thanks. Have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.